welcome to another video here on Pastiche of Skin. We have another loot crate for you to check out today. This one is our traditional, normal, original, all of the best brand loot crate. This month's theme has been Quest. Now, I don't know about this crate. I'm a little bit unsure whether or not it's going to be worthwhile because this has a really, really generic theme. Quest is a good theme. We all go on quests. Every game I've ever played has been a quest. But now we have the quest to the bottom of the crate. And let's see what's inside. Okay. Oh. Okay. Right. Let's see. Oh, I see myself a bowie. Okay, let's take this out to the wide. How's it going, guys? What's the crack? Nice to see you. Thank you very much for coming back again to Passage of Skin to see your unboxing of Loot Crates. If you haven't already seen it, I recommend that you stick with our channel and watch every single one we do. Now, what's this? Labyrinth! It's got Bowie! Bowie! Yeah, the tights pant man himself, the one who played with his balls on a regular basis while talking to a little girl. <laughs> I don't mean to imply anything horrible. It's Bowie. Bowie's a sexual Tyrannosaurus, and in that movie, he, he, he was really making sure we knew exactly what he was carrying. Okay, so, Labyrinth. Great design on this one. Um, make sure it's the right size. Yes, it is the right size this month. But, I mean... Have you not seen Labyrinth? If you haven't seen Labyrinth, why are you why are you looking at my face? Look over here, that's where the trailer is. Look at it. Look at that man. It's a great movie. It's a great quintessential classic with Jim Henson puppets, a lot of practical effects in it, um, amazing little tricks of the camera. It's it is a wonderful little mesmeric trip that I highly recommend you check out. If you haven't seen it already, go and scare your children with it. Go and put it in front of their children and watch them wander around in fear, like, Mommy, Mommy, Daddy, is that man still alive? And you go like, oh, no, sadly no, son. He will never terrify us again. That was kind of depressing. So anyway, a t-shirt. Yep, this is actually on to our normal traditional black stock. It's actually a pretty decent thickness. It's a good quality print. Thickness is actually pretty nice. I like the patterning on it for the actual little puzzle in the background. It's got almost every character I can think of in the movie. Is there anyone? Nope, everyone is in here. Including our little princess, the castle, the goblin king, and all of his minions. This is a nice shirt. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I really think you should like it. It's a good shirt. Check it out. I think I'll be wearing this one fairly soon. Uh, it's one of the things where it, the color might be a little bit off for some guys. I don't know, maybe they don't like it, but I'm, I'm a purple fiend. I love purple, like the color. Um, God damn. What is it? Every single thing I'm saying right now is reminding me of people who have just recently passed away. We miss you, Prince. Oh! Right. Good t-shirt. Wonderful t-shirt. Hitting exactly in the right spots. Um, yeah, I mean, whenever they said there was going to be a labyrinth item in this, I was hoping, hoping it was going to be a you know, a uh, glass ball that we can do contact juggling with. That would have been awesome. Like, we instructional on glass ball. That would have been an amazing gift to give us. But the t-shirt with Bowie on it is okay as well, I suppose. All right, back into the crate. Let's see what else we got in here. Mm, okay. This one looks reasonably big. Okay. What is this? Vikings. Oh, cool. Woo this is what I think it is. Okay, so we get it out of its packaging. Nicely packaged, actually. I like the little kind of um, muslin kind of case for it. Yes! Look! I can be a unicorn! No, this is not a unicorn horn. It is a drinking ale horn of some sort. But wait, does this go on? Huh? Ah! Ha 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 ha! Ha 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 ha! I'm gonna get drunk to that! I'm actually liking this. This is pretty cool. Uh, reasonably decent quality leather strap on it. It looks the part. Um, <laughs> I kind of wish I had two of these to actually make myself a, a proper Viking. Oh, well, not proper Viking, but a Viking helmet. But uh, as it is, like I said, I'm a unicorn. It looks so pretty. Do you know what, actually, I feel like? I feel like the villain from the end of one of the Conan movies, where he has to do the whole... <laughs> and tears it off, and you see the blood spurting out. It was kind of like that. Um, no. I'm liking this, that's actually pretty cool. Um, that'll probably be going up on the shelf, really. I mean, suppose I, it's not exactly it's not exactly the cracked skull of my enemies to drink out of, but it'll do the job. It's just kind of close enough. I like that. That's actually two for two, man. That's actually a pretty cool little haul so far, right? Good t-shirt, good good uh, Vikings memorabilia. For quest? Eh, makes sense. Kinda cool. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, what have we got? 
And for the Harry Potters. Oh, Harry Potter, Harry Potter. Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter. It's a pair of fucking socks, right? Harry Potter socks. Slytherin, something to do with a ring, a locket, a cup, a diary. Tiara, snake, so it's it's all the Horcruxes. Is that right? Horcrux? Holocrux? Holocrux? But it's a pair of socks, and the material of the socks doesn't feel all that amazing. Loot Crate exclusive, 97% uh, polyester, 3% pandex. Nice and stretchy. It's fucking socks. What did I say about socks? Fucking socks! These deserve to be in this Loot Crate socks bundle. You know, you're gonna get this many socks, you're gonna make this many socks. Fucking put them in, level up. Bye bye to socks! Moving on. Right, what else we got in here? What is this? Ooh, I like this. 20 sided die ice mold. Ooh, okay. Yep. I will only drink with ice made out of this thing from now onwards. That's awesome. Yeah. You know what? Cool. Simple enough to use. All you do is actually use the uh, mold, fill it up, and put the cap on top of it. And bam, you're done, dusted. And you just have, you don't even have an easy pour fill to actually put in the inside of it. Yeah, yep, three for three, well, three for four so far. That is another amazing little device. Um, yeah, you can't really, can't really say much more than that. It makes ice, and it's got a D20 on it. Um, the only thing is trying to make sure it stays uh, crystal clear, because otherwise you get mm, uh, shadows through it. But if I have that with me for the next time I'm playing D&D, that'll be kind of cool. I rolled D20 for highest alcohol content. Right, let's see what else we got in here. We got a tube, and what's in the tube? Um, okay, what's this? I'm a man of fortune and must seek my fortune. So an Uncharted themed poster. Okay, well, it's not exactly, um... When I said there's an Uncharted item in the bo box, I've got a feeling that that might have may have actually gotten uh, pulled at the last minute, and they end up going with a small piece of promo art. I mean, if this had been on anything other than like or normal stock pro, uh, poster paper, if this had been like on a parchment or something where it actually had like a map, something cool to be put onto it, that would have been awesome. But <sighs> Uncharted Four poster. <laughs> what the hell was the point of that? Yeah, get into the box again. We have our quest themed pin. I'm trying to get a good angle on this so you can actually see it properly. Damn you, light. Oh, there you go, and there it is. You can see the pin reasonably well. It's got a D20 on it. It's got a Halion style shield. April 2016 Quest Loot Pins. That's um, pretty nice. I'm liking my pins. Um, I'm glad there's only one pin inside this crit. I have no problems and questions with that whatsoever. All is okay. You know what? That's actually not too bad one. That's not, not too upset by any of this. And right, we move on to the actual booklet. And of course we've got right here, Quest Adventure Awaits and all of the different bits and pieces that were inside. Let's take a look to see what the quality of the magazine is this month. Uh, welcome Traveler, join the Mystical Quest, Vegans Drinking Horn with Strap. Ooh, yes, they actually have a couple of cocktails on it. Brilliant idea. Come on, guys. Can you admit, can you admit that it was actually, like, you know, whenever I did the Keeley Bomber in the Firefly with the cocktail, did that give you ideas? Did that, hmm, 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 Come on, give me the actual, uh, just, 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 just say it, just say it. Just, just give us a little shout out. Throw a little comment underneath to say it was actually my idea. I'm sure you guys, you guys have been doing recipes in them ever since the, the first couple of ones, so yeah, I'm pretty sure it's not because of me that you actually decided to put a cocktail recipe in. So, uh, High Potter Socks, uh, of course, being uh, sexually put on by somebody that's holding a wand and pointing it at it. Um, and there's from the quest. Ba -ba -ba. Room, got find a mysterious chest full of papers. So, uh, different letters from people who, hi who live probably inside the loot caverns where all the loot is kept. Uh, advertising for level up, Labyrinth t-shirt, uh, D20 ice mold, uh, how do you avoid quest, uh, an exclusive Uncharted 4 Athesian poster. Now, that's that, that's too small to call an exclusive poster. I mean, that, that if anything, that's a promo material thing. If this had been a folded poster that was a nice big size, like one even comparable to anything that I have in the backdrop, that would have been cool, but no, I'm not too fussed on that whatsoever. Okay, uh, Loot Pins DLC, Neverwinter is a free play action MMO, B, MMO based on the acclaimed Dungeon Dragons series. So, wait, what? Uh, okay. Alright, so essentially you get a rare companion, a gelatinous cube 
companion for Neverwinter from your loot crate pin. That's not too bad if you're a D&D fan and you actually play MMOs, that's, and that'd be a cool little um, companion. I'm pretty sure it's not exactly a rare companion, but uh, fair enough. It's all based on D&D Forgotten Realms. Can't beat that whatsoever. And uh, oh yes, there's uh, two variants of the pin. There's a golden pin, an ordinary pin. Didn't get myself a golden pin this time. Oh, I get none of the rare things. I get none of them. So, uh, Loot Crate DX, of course, being advertised as well. Uh, choose your own loot venture, which is, of course, uh, relating to Firefly and loot anime and all the other things. Um, and then featured looters with their items. Uh, advertisement for Word Gush, which was given away with one of the previous ones. Shirts for everything. The Mega Crate looks pretty awesome. Um, and the Mini Mega Crate. Which, oh, oh, actually, in fact, I would have loved to have gotten the Mini Mega Crate because it actually had a full set of D20 dice, as you can see here. It's actually this one here. Harry Potter themed D20 dice. That's um, kind of cute. Uh, the, I, I always need more dice, so that's wouldn't be a problem me whatsoever. And of course, the mega crate of over two thousand dollars value. Amazing statue of Princess Zelda, Adventure Time, an iPad or it's iPhone of some sort. Vikings, multiple seasons on Blu-ray, a whole bunch of Adventure Time figures and models, and a box set of the Harry Potter series, as well as what looks like a ring. Oh, and the ring from Uncharted, so I'm assuming it's actually uh, Nathan's... Uh, no, is it Nathan? Nathan Drake? Yeah, Nathan Drake's uh, wedding ring that you put on the inside of it. Well, that's um, that's pretty much everything that was in there. Um, of course, they've got their bunch of Loot Crate directories for like all the things that they post up, which is uh, interesting enough. Uh, you can probably find a list of those on any one of the magazines. So, yeah, that's... I'm, I'm, I'm alright. Uh, that This was a much better crate than I had last month. Um, I have to actually post and comment a little retraction here because I did uh, get a reply back from Loot Gaming HQ specifically after I had opened up the uh, Legacy Crate and had said during my video that it was very unlikely that we'd ever get a European winner uh, for any of the prizes. Now, they did say that an Australian winner had won one of the um, one of the mini mega crates, or one of the mini crates, not the mega mega crate, and that they were posting out to them. Now, great, that's I'm glad to hear there was actually an international winner, but um, I'm not too, I'm still, I'm still concerned that there's actually a very unlikely chance of getting them. But I mean, it's a very unlikely chance anybody's going to get the mega crate because uh, loot crate has exploded in popularity. They are big enough to the point now where literally uh, it is a lottery to be able to get it. But apparently, what they're um, system is for selecting a winner is a randomly generated number that is actually all it does is just give them um the 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 looter number the the looter number that's on your card that actually can identifies you as who you are i'm assuming that if i had my card that'd be the important thing but um no not really uh so i'm saying cool it's great to hear that people are winning these prizes uh still nobody in europe has won one <laughs> because that's what i'm saying I, I did state what I said was that like somebody in Europe hasn't won one. They said somebody in Australia's won one. That's not Europe. <laughs> just just point out, you know, Australia is actually closer to the United States than Europe is. You know, going the other fucking direction. <laughs> um, but the yeah, is it actually is Australia actually closer from the west coast of America? I'm pretty sure it is. I can't even remember because I'm actually trying to remember geographically. Because it's so weird whenever you look at international maps, they're always kind of like topically kind of sized to matter on who's bigger and who's what. There's actually no real realistic sense of it on the globe and all. But um, yep, the Australian winner, great fun times for you. Uh, I'm still waiting for my crit. So I'm just from saying, guys, look great. If you want, if you really want to convince me, send me a mega crit. Just uh, somehow play with the numbers and see what happens. So yeah, I, I mean, essentially my odds would be higher because I do get all the crits that loot do do um compared to somebody who actually uh does only one crate you know but the odds on i'm probably not gonna win any of them so this month's crate has been designed with the similar pattern to the actually t-shirt from labyrinth on the top of it and actually is a maze there's a start here on the side that you can see so um i'm pretty sure you'll have a little bit of fun with your kiddos if you actually do give your loot crate to your kids searching for a solution to work your way around and get to the center of the maze so um, yeah, guys, this the, it's been a good crate this month. Uh, I like my loot. I love my flagon. I will drink from it and uh, be happy and cosplay a unicorn at all times. Or the evil villain from the end of the second Conan movie, the the dark demon god that was brought back through a virgin sacrifice. But um, yeah, guys, 
The crates have been good. I've got a few more coming out this month. We do have the inaugural Loot DX coming out uh, very soon. We will also have a Loot Anime and our traditional uh, Loot Gaming level up and everything else. In fact, I'm wearing one of the level up t-shirts for this month. The quest month was actually Goonies, which is definitely on theme for going on a quest. I mean, it's one of the quintessential childhood quests that any any child ever watched in the 1980s. And you know what? I do love myself a baby Ruth. <laughs> and then we've got one more shirt that came as part of the Loot uh, Level Up series. It is a full... <laughs> that is Andre the Giant sized. But yeah, it is a t-shirt for the Princess Bride. Um, I'm trying to remember, it's of course um, uh, Andre the Giant as the Giant. And uh, you killed my father, you will die. What is his name? Uh, Montoya? Monto Santiago Montoya? Something like that? And, uh... Is it Venetian? I can't, it's, like, it's so long since I've seen The Princess Bride. Um, but you never ever take them on and like... I'd never challenge them to a bet, or whatever it is. But, um, yep. Yeah, uh, that's a movie, I do want actually, but owning this t-shirt makes me want to rewatch that movie. I like the design of it, I like the white on black. And I love the usual suspects uh lineup of the characters, because of their heights. Um, it's a nice, nice, distinct and impressive t-shirt. If you know the characters, you know the shirt. But um, obviously, if you didn't, it says on the inside of the neck. But yeah, I love this shirt. I actually will be looking forward to wearing this in my own time. I do like a fairly, th I do like three-quarter sleeve and the Titan kind of like arm in them. So um, I'm happy. I'm happy with the clothing this month. I'm happy with the uh, t-shirts that came in the level ups. I'm the only thing I'm disappointed in in this whole thing is, of course, socks and. The poster and the socks are socks. I mean, I, if they weren't, if I wasn't considering them as being like I'm paying for those socks, I'd be nice to get the socks. Like that's I'm the kind of person who never ever buys socks. So like people get them for you as a gift. Um, t the p poster is not really a poster. It is a piece of teaser merchandising art. Uh, I honestly don't think this is what they intended for the quest crate. Whenever they originally said they're going to do Uncharted, but it may have been it's just like a leftover. Whenever they got the thing for the mega crate being the ring. And um, of course, the ice cubes, the t shirt pin, and our flagon makes up for a reasonably decent crate for this month for Quest. Uh, you can probably pick up a copy of it in the past crate section on Loot Crate. And if you want to go do a crate, make sure to use the code I put underneath the video. You get yourself a 10% discount on your next crate. And do keep an ear out because I do occasionally get free crates from Loot Crate to give out to people who have never used it before. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been another video for Passage Skin. I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye bye.